All right, let's look at another variation, something else we can mix into the body lock. A lot of the body lock passing out there is pretty standard, very much uh, a linear progression of stepping over the legs. Uh, let's look at another one where we can uh, grip the leg and turn it into a different pass, right? So when we have the body lock here, we get that long arm, short arm. The beauty of the long arm, short arm is I can at any point just transfer to a deep hip grip, right? So sometimes when I'm here and I'm sort of feeling a bit unstable in this position, say I'm dealing with someone with extremely long, extremely good flexibility, I'll let go of long arm, short arm and grab the body here with the underarm. And if you see the little pass off I did, it can be difficult to just grab the hip. So I take a pit stop where I frame against the hip to get my hand deeper here. And I reach my left hand back to secure the butterfly hook. We're free to do this because obviously his left uh, butterfly hook strap. If we were too loose here and I did this, he might shoot a triangle. But if we emphasize bending our knee in, stuffing it, triangle risk. Very, very minimal, right? So we're in our position here, we've done the pass off. I grab the ankle and I hang on to it here. I still am driving forward, keeping shoulder to ear connection. Tyler's trying to move here. I can easily push his ankle and start bringing my shoulders over the legs here. And we can use that to secure a pass. So basically end up in kind of a, a side body lock here. So again, let's look at these grips. Long arm, short arm. We've got them flattened out. Maybe just want to go for a different angle here. Maybe we're sick of this same old battle. Maybe we're having trouble stepping over the leg. I'm going to do a pass off a frame on the hip, secure a single hand grip here. We're going to reach back and grab that butterfly hook. I grab it at the ankle and I stuff it. As I start to walk, I push his foot out. So we get a bit of external rotation there, a very weak angle here. Tyler's trying to resist it. We can keep our shoulder heavy. Tyler's trying to move, trying to find new angles here. And we can easily walk over the inside butterfly hook and start coming back for our pass here. So just a way, something we can throw in to sort of keep them guessing here, right? No matter how good a technique is, if we keep doing the same thing from the same positions over and over again, even a really bad grappler's gonna start picking on to some little battles where they can hold you up, potentially start turning the tide. So if we can add new things in to old positions to keep them guessing and keep them, keep it unpredictable, right? So we're in a body lock, we open the hands, we grab the foot, we start passing the opposite direction, something else for them to think about. So now if we start setting up another body lock, they have to worry about us going in both directions and in turn, we're more likely to get option A, the old school option, as long as we throw in some different things to keep it.